as well. And then last week there was like a like a fashion show as well. Bye bye. I don't know what is happening, but I think uh, yes, a friend of mine told me that there is an annual event. So there are a lot of people in the street of Kochiche. So let's walk around the city and spontaneous. Hello, excuse me. Yeah, yeah are you from the city? What is happening? Well, oh, uh, it's the city days. Like, I don't know why we celebrate it, but Kochiche has its days and there are a lot of attractions and like the flea market and everything. Oh. So nothing like really special, just the city days. Your city days, is yeah, every yeah. year they do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around every, uh, what is the day of the year? Uh, today is 29, I think. I think. 30. Uh, so so 30. every 30 of the month, uh, of uh, every year. It's like uh, the, the total day is, I think, the 7th of May. And okay. it's like a week that we celebrate it for. Yes. And we have a lot of like uh, concerts and some dance. Uh, Traditional dance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it's. Uh, at the other end of the street. The, the so. hen. Okay, I'm yeah. going to walk down there. I just want to look for something, mm -hmm. uh, get something to eat inside this uh, commercial center. Mm -hmm. Then I will walk down and yeah, see how really it looks like. There are always different types of like attractions, and also there are these. Can we walk shops. down? Are you walking down this way? Yeah. Would you mind we walk down together and at the same time you are sharing with me the uniqueness of the event and the city? We don't know that much, but okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. No, it's spontaneous. We are not historians. Oh, okay. I am not a. I have not. More a, than you, so at least. Uh, okay. You, you are not uh, uh, used to it. Well, we know some parts. But okay. It's like we don't know really that much of history or anything. It's more of the. You can like, hold the microphone because your oh. voice is less louder than my my voice. Okay. So okay. Better, so you can talk. So here we have nothing yet. It's yes. just the uh, like beginning of the street. Yes. You have like loads of restaurants and cafes. Yes. I don't really go to them that often, but okay. <laughs> uh, in the beginning, <laughs> actually, I think the whole street is like a historical something like a reservation. Okay. But at the same time, you know, it's not like a like a park or something like a natural reservation because yes. you can use it mm -hmm. but you know it's like historical and the buildings yes they, they aren't new like they've been here for like a few hundred years at Ooh. least and then sometimes when you like this is the main street and yeah. then sometimes when you tur turn like right left or right it doesn't really matter yeah. you have like these tiny streets mm -hmm. that have like historically like related names yes so like you have for example, like Butcher Street. Yes. And then, you know, it, the name comes from like some butchery that was there. Yes. And, you know, if you look, you have like in the, on the like, uh, uh, ground floor, you had okay. the shops and then the owner of the shop used to live upstairs. Oh, so okay. it's still like that. And then when you walk inside, okay. you usually have like, a, it's kind of like round mm. and then in the middle is it's like a namestie uh, a square a square yeah like you have a square in the middle of a house basically oh so it's really interesting well still we have like here just the historical buildings for yes. example when you turn to the left after this uh, church yes. there is also a street i think it's called uh biela like wide yes. but uh there's nothing really that amazing like all of the streets mm -hmm. uh like the smaller ones usually just have like cafes or as uh, a club or a bar something like that yeah uh, yeah yeah yeah. and yeah, like because, yeah someone mm -hmm. told me this is like touristic street mm -hmm. yeah. and the other side is more of like a mm -hmm. party mm -hmm. you know? yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's like more calmer but usually like during the night it's yeah. more populated than this big street yes. i was there i think uh, on Friday. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. So, well, here is just like very small, nothing really that interesting. Yeah. We do have a lot of like small churches, yes. which aren't like really 
lots of different religions, I think. Yeah. Here we have this one big synagogue that's like that away, okay. and it's I think one of the biggest in Slovakia. I don't want to like uh, share misinformation, but I think it's one of I don't know. But oh well, in this uh, this like pinkish salmon color building, yes. there's this one very old. Uh, yeah, yeah, this one yeah. under uh, corner. Left, yeah. It's like this very old uh, uh, bakery, like an slash. ice cream shop. Kind yeah, of. yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like it was very good quality for a very long time. Now it's not that good. They have like cheap prices, oh. but I haven't been there in like a yeah, long time. Yeah, it's not really time. good. If you want like a better ice cream, yeah. then a bit down the street you have like this new place that's like extremely expensive, mm. but also extremely good. So it's oh. kind of worth it. But so tell me more about you girls also. You speak very good English. Sometimes oh, thank you. <laughs> to meet your, uh, the locals that speak good English, so you guys speak very good. What oh, do you do? Thank you. We're students, both yeah. of us. We're, uh, we both study like extra English, so that's maybe why. But uh, mm. my friend here was actually in England last summer, yeah. so that's why the English is like more fluent and everything. Okay. And I had exams, I have like a C2 certificate, so... Okay. It's just like a fun fact. <laughs> oh, nice. So we're this uh, thing here, the statue. It's the statue of the pla uh, plague. Mm -hmm. What was it called? Uh, yeah, this it's, one, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's for the like uh, people who died for the. Uh, how do you it's say like it? Like a, a sickness, like a disease. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Virus. And it's like for uh, the diseased that uh, yes. have been killed by this plot so it's just like to show the respect mm -hmm. and then uh, where like lots of children are it's uh, this little fountain with yes. astrological signs so yeah yeah like uh, which like month? a horoscope, horoscope kind of? yeah signs yeah. And it's like it's not the most popular but I think it's very cute it's like all the 12 signs there's there. actually like a popular fountain like the singing fountain on the other side Okay. And you know, everyone's like, oh, that's what Košice is famous for. But mm. I actually, I don't like it that much because it's, you know, it's ugly and it's annoying. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm sorry. But to many people, it is the best city in the country, apart oh. of that of Bratislava. They said the only thing that is different uh, is that Bratislava is more bigger. If not, yeah. this yeah. city is more beautiful. It's the best yeah, in the country. Yeah, it is, it is. But the fountain is annoying. But this one, <laughs> this one is like, you know, it's pretty. It's not like nothing much, yeah, but it's nice. Good, it's cute. Yeah. And you have all these flowers. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's like, nicer. It's smaller, but mm. I think it's cuter. Um, wow. I don't know. Here's one of the churches that I said. We have a lot of churches just randomly placed in the city. Mm -hmm. And this one, I think, is Christian. Yeah, probably. I, like, most of them are Christian. <laughs> Christian, like I would say, like 90%, maybe. Yeah, okay. then here, where's the do pizza? There okay. was the cheapest pizza in Košice. Let's, we're on the cycle track, so uh, it was the cheapest pizza in Košice, it was 50 cents. And 50 cents? Yeah, and it was like this huge slice, and it was very good, but because of the inflation, it got a little. Uh, pricier and now it's around like euro or 75 cents 75 cents yeah which is still great price but the, the I'm, I'm going to come back oh <gasps> no it's euro 50 they one changed 50. the price yeah <gasps> i think there is a cheaper good. one um, okay let's go yeah yeah and uh, this is like a oh is it like a national yeah i think theater? it's national yeah ah. it's the national uh, theater for okay and it's really nice inside I mean, I don't go that often, but it's it's really pretty. It's like really okay. luxurious and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like we have a lot of, uh, oh, how do you say that? A lot of things are happening there, not even just like the theater kind, but uh, dances mm -hmm. and when like, for example, some art schools have uh, things for the parents or something, we usually have it here. And it's like, it's very beautiful. It even is bigger in the inside. It doesn't look that big from the outside, but it's very cute. Whoa. Yeah, and this is, I think, the uh, old, oh my god, pigeon. We have a lot of pigeons here, and people usually get mad when other people feed them, because then everything is... 
covered. It's actually forbidden to pick them now. Yeah. Yes, I think. It might be forbidden. In, uh, some places, not every country, anyway. In some countries, it's forbidden. Yeah, but. I like It's supposed pictures. to be the singing fountain, but they are renovating it. Yeah, that means it's going to be more beautiful. Well, yeah, well, I, hope so. Moon, so. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. It's actually, uh, there are these belts uh, next to these huge trees that usually around the same time every day ring. Mm -hmm. Now don't because it's renovating. Mm -hmm. But they ring and the fountain changes its like color and the way the water is uh, getting... Uh, like it's kind of like uh, <laughs> dancing to yeah. the music, but it Fountain. doesn't really match the music. Oh. So it's just like so going it's just up and down. <laughs> yeah. oh. So Zigzag. you have to yeah. use your imagination to actually see it. But oh. here. Let's go and do the first. But actually, I'm really happy that uh, Koshitsa plants these like uh, flowers around here. Yeah, it's because beautiful. I don't know if it's like every year, but I'm notice noticing it right now more. And I think it's very pretty because. Interesting. Beautiful. Yeah. These are the flowers she's talking about. It's nice. Yeah, so here would be the fountain, but yeah, really inside. not missing out a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> because of the. Maybe after the renovation, it might be okay. The music can go yeah. with the fountain. Yeah, well, so. yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> here they have great sushi. That's like oh, yeah. the, usually the place where I get sushi when I get. Uh, uh, money for my work because okay. <laughs> it's a little pricier. But what kind of job you do? Uh, I'm a barista. I work in a barista? cafe. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And you? And I teach English. What? You teach English already? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. And then so here you have like a, it's they have kind of quite good coffee yes. and basically everything, and it's kind of like a famous coffee shop between young people. Yeah, and it's, coffee. Yeah, yeah, it's like really like aesthetically pleasing and kind of cheap, yes. and then. They have like really pretty workers. Yeah. <laughs> pretty workers? Yeah. You mean the men or the girls? All of them. Everybody. All of them, actually. Ah, okay. But, uh, so that is where you, you used to go to look for. Uh, some, yeah, yeah. Some, exactly. pretty, exactly. some, exactly. some pretty guys when you are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then in this street, like down there, yeah. there's, a, there's like a city park. Yes. And then there's another singing fountain. Okay. Yeah. But, but I think that, that, one, one, that one is like low-key new, but mm. still kind of annoying. Okay. <laughs> and then there's also like a bunch of second-hand shops. Okay. Yeah, like thrift stores. Some good ones, yeah. Oh, nice. And the coffee place is called St. Cuff because this, this is the St. Elizabeth Cathedral. Okay. It's, yes. I think, the biggest Gothic structure in uh, East Europe. Or like uh, somewhere in like well, the definitely central definitely Europe. In Slovakia, yeah, at least. Okay. it's the biggest uh, Gothic cathedral, and mm. I don't know if we can take a look. I don't think it's open for public. Usually, only when there are like uh, masses held where okay. people go pray. Mm. But it's very beautiful. It's really they're renovated when they get the chance and the money, and actually. Oh, you can't see it, but there is this huge tower. Yes. Uh, you can see the top of it. Yes. You can actually go there for like, I don't know, five euros or how yeah, much? it's kind of expensive for how many stairs you have to get through, so. I've been there, and but it's the, very pretty. The view yeah. is nice. It's, the view okay. is very nice. I've and been to one, I think, in, in uh, Florence. Oh. It was I know, 700 steps or something like that. Oh. We've been to one in Vienna that was and a lot I've been higher. To, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. No, no, and it was also very high, but the view was just different, different. Yeah, I've been to, and I've been to one also uh, in uh, what city is this? Gdańsk in Poland. Oh. Yes. And this is the Saint My Nicholas. Uh, no, what is it called? Saint Nicola. I. I don't know. I have no idea what that but is. But actually, I know a fun fact about it. There are these little holes near the entrance, and they say that the holes are there because witches mm. were buried near this building, and when they like woke from the dead, mm. they started scratching the door, and that, that's why there are these little holes. Oh. I don't know how much... Look, I like this dress. Let me... Look. Come, yeah, it's a traditional it. Slovak dresses. I think this might be a folklore... Yeah. Uh, oh, group, nice. 
and it's because of the days of Koshitsa. They nice. like do this uh, performances. Like <laughs> let me let me have a photo of you. Come, come, let me have a photo of you. Take me a photo with them. <laughs> can hold the camera. Can I enter? Can I Krasny ste. Thank you. Here you go. Nice. So that's one of the performances. We have a lot of them. Oh, you can see more there. Mm. And there's probably somebody dancing. So if we hurry a little bit, yes. uh, we can see people dancing. And it's so. actually not just like a traditional dance. I used to dance in like this like a street dance studio. And they, yeah, they hold, hold performances for these days as well. And then last week there was like a like a fashion show as well and yes. one for children like we have this this place where they hold hold activities for children like you know it's kind of like a fashion something fashion for for children and they made a fashion show for them and it yeah. was like the clothes were ugly because you know <laughs> because i'm sorry but it's made by children but it was nice you know okay. and also the the cathedral or, or the building next to it i'm not sure which one yes. it has like this really ugly statue of like some creature okay. and it's i don't know if it's true or if it's just like a legend but Ooh. the architect uh it's like a it's like a <gasps> statue of his wife yeah i think because really? she was just so annoying or she used to talk so much something like that wow. so yeah they are kind of sharing with us everything you need to know about Kochiche, which is very <laughs> difficult for me to pronounce. Yeah, it's hard for me sometimes too. So. <laughs> I don't know. I have tried. I have some names that um, is quite difficult. There are boys for me. in the traditional clothing. Oh, so. this is interesting, guys. Look at it. Traditional clothing. Nice. And then you have different clothes and different like patterns and embroidery mm. based on which part of Slovakia you're in. Okay. And it's not just like, you know, like East, South, the middle of Slovakia. Yes. It's also like maybe like different cities yes. stuff like that. So it's it's really interesting. And then they have like different songs, different clothes, different dances. Oh, oh they're dancing also down. So oh. we can take a closer look. I'm 99% sure I know this dancing group. They're called Jelesiara. It's uh, based on the metal, like you have, uh, what's it called, iron, and that's Jelezo in Slovak. And it's based on like the, yeah, we can also take here because I think the older. They sometimes have like bigger performances where they actually play like little scenes and talk to each other and it's like like a wedding scene or you know I don't know sometimes someone's cheating on someone and stuff like that. So it's really interesting.
diversity. Yeah, it's also very traditional that people sing while they are dancing, and mostly girls, so it's very hard for them while they are dancing. My friends do this uh, folklore dancing, and I know that they like really have good condition while dancing because you have to sing, you have to dance, and you have to focus on what you are actually doing. So. You have to make you you have to be sporty. Yeah, and also a good singer. Right in the heart of the city, <laughs> experiencing some of the beauties, culture, tradition of the people and the country as a whole. <laughs> some steps right and it's usually like the man is the leader like traditionally so he just leads you and you just follow yeah basically bravo so let's continue yeah yeah Yeah, and here's the like a little flea market where yes. you can buy a lot of you can buy food there. Actually, during Christmas, uh, it's on the other side. Yeah, it's basically the same thing for okay. every season, but with slightly different things. Like in the winter, you would have like a hat or like little Christmas gifts yes. or like. Uh, warm wine. Yeah, it's warm very wine. good. Mm. And now it's more like I don't know, like necklaces and yeah. stuff like that. Like spring floral prints mm -hmm. and oh. you can get. This is like the fast food of okay. uh, this place. You can get like pretty good things for cheap prices. Experience the best of Slovakia, <laughs> culture, tradition. So, where are the traditional food here that we can buy and mm. eat? Well, mm -hmm. the chimney cake is traditional and it's like, it's sweet okay. and then it's like a sugary, sugary Too much sugar? No. Uh, a lot of sugar, but I don't know, we don't have like the most traditional things. For example, you have loksha, which is Hungarian and I think chimney cake is more Czech than Slovak. I think it's actually, you know, because all the Slavic countries used to be for most of the history, they used to be like together, one these two yeah. same people. Yeah. So, okay. so we kind of share traditions and food. Okay, so. let's try this traditional food. Excuse me, can we get one? Trdelnik jeden. Can we get a škoricový može být. Dve tři minutky bude škoricový. Zatím mám vanilku a čokoládu. Tak vanilkový může být. Hej, hej. Tři euro. Four. Four euro. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you all eat? Of course. Let's so we can eat together. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, great. And it's yours. Thank you. Okay, Thank man. you. Traditional. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Chimney cake. Uh, uh, chimney cake. Chimney, like uh, on like the, the roof. On the top of the houses. Okay, where okay, okay, okay. And you have a lot of different jewelry here. Usually it's handmade by people mm -hmm. or like And people can come here and like show off their products and it's very it's very nice for people who are like uh, small business owners and can come here and just uh, sell their creations I think I haven't really bought anything here I think it's a little bit pricier than yeah. I would like yeah but it's a nice experience yeah to just nice. maybe look at it and oh, why is this fun? Yeah, it's for spoons. It's the like, uh, so you can hold your spoon with it. I don't have kids yet. <laughs> I am not married yet. If not, I would have bought this. I know ladies like this. 
I once wanted to buy this one, but it's four euros, so it's like the same price that we got yeah. this for. Oh, it's four euros. Yeah, it's a little pricey for me at least. I I don't know if it's worth four euros, but and then there you have like a whole set. You have like a knife, fork, oh, and okay. spoon. Oh. But so you have like a collection. Ooh. That is what I, thought I said. It's a little bit for ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. And then the way you eat this is you can like hold it with your with one I hand and then you can it. like pull it. So Try, let's like, go. You hold it like this and then you pull it so you you know you don't have the whole thing in your mouth. Okay, you just like this. You yeah, take, yeah. You take and it pulls some. apart because oh. it's like very soft. It's like this, I'll get a little, this. like a little dough snake kind of like on top of. Mm. 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 Is it too sweet? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> But there are a lot of sugars, but hey, mm -hmm. some of the traditional yeah. we have Slavic food. Yeah. Slavic food yeah. Our food is like very either too sweet or too salty or mm. just like really rich in taste, I think. Oh. Yeah, so. or just like really full of oil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, but. you know, people used to work in like fields all day, stuff mm. like that. So um, they needed something that would keep them full. Mm. And when they came home, all hungry, they ate like this uh, big plate of our traditional food. It's called brinzove halushki. It's like gnocchis with uh, goat's cheese, and it's like it's very yummy. But it's like a traditional goat cheese. I, I, yeah, I have yeah. eaten it. Yeah, with, 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 um, uh, dumplings together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you like it? Yeah, but it, it was too much, too many yeah, cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like if you grow up on it, like mm. I, for example, really like the cheese part. It's like yeah, I really enjoy that. The, that. That is the part I like. This mm -hmm. side that is more more white, mm -hmm. more meat color. That is the one I love most. So guys, they have shared with us a lot of great places, great things, traditional. This is about the culture and tradition of Slovakia. Yeah, I hope you really enjoyed that. Like yeah, as we good. as we say, we don't know that much about like the history, mm. but at least these days are here, so we have something to talk about. Oh, okay. But, where, where do you live actually? Oh, I live on a hill right that way. It's like uh, we're here just to hang out. Yeah, oh, to I get, live on the other side of the city, okay. so okay. we have to meet up yeah. <laughs> in, the, okay. like, in the middle. Yeah, but wow. where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Oh! And do you like do travel vlogs or something? Yes, I'm a travel Ooh. vlogger. I'm oh. going to give you my YouTube channel. That's do you have Instagram as well? All. All. I have all. Okay. I'm going okay. to give you all, no problem. Okay, okay. So, guys, I think this is the end of yeah. everything. Oh, and so. they have really nice ice cream in here as well. It's like an Italian place. Okay. And it's, it's I think, one of the best in, in the city. Mm -hmm. okay. But also, kind of like, not on the cheaper side, but it's not the most expensive, so it's a good deal. And they have like the pizza pieces as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you have ice cream and the pizza together, you get yeah. the whole Italian experience in Slovakia. It's a nice balance. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. And then that thing there, that's like another memorial. Yeah, there. Yeah. So uh, communism. 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 Yeah, it's like for the people who died. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if fighting for the communist side or again. I it's just they killed a lot of people well, for no reason. Yeah, during yeah. communism. Yeah, here. and we also have like a museum for that as well. Yeah, I'm actually going there this yeah, Tuesday. <laughs> Me so. as well, <laughs> in like two weeks. Yeah, you exactly. So, yeah. This is our wall. So thank you very much, girls. Yeah. They have been great. They have shared a lot with us. Uh, spontaneously, normally I just want to come out to our food and relax <laughs> because I'm going to leave for uh, Bratislava oh. after. So I was just this weekend, like uh, since yesterday, I was like just relaxing, you know. So these girls deserve like and subscribe and comment, <laughs> comment below. What do you think about them? Because it's not easy. It is not easy to share to speak in front of the camera. I guess. We didn't even notice it, actually. Oh, you didn't know that you're in camera? Well, later, yes, but when we started, I was like, oh, he's holding something, and I was like, oh, it's a camera, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so probably, maybe it is your first time in front of the camera. Oh, I used to dance. Oh, okay, so, so you are used to it. And you? Yeah. 
like camera camera yeah i have not been in like a vlog or anything i've been in the tv like oh, last so week with this star. Yeah, yeah i don't know yeah. i need yeah. an autograph <laughs> so uh, no, <laughs> two stars of the city and i didn't know tell me Got the, i no, need no. an autograph <laughs> no no it was just uh this competition for gener journalism and uh i was there like for five seconds but it I, was I, nice I, yeah so anyway if you like this video Comment below, let me know what you think about the tradition and the culture of Slovakia and this city as a whole. And uh, keep on liking and subscribing. Ask your friends and loved ones to subscribe. Subscription is free. Keep on supporting the journey. Until then, see you on the next one. Ciao! Sorry, this is nice. I don't know what it represents, but it's interesting. Traditional. Hey, pass. Can I pass? Thank you. Wow. Interesting. Hello. They are here again. <laughs> Bye bye. Wow. Interesting. Ah, no. Ďakujem dámy, vážení páni, vítajte na dnešnom folklórnom programe, ktorý je súčasťou oslám v Ďamesta Košice 2023. Vítame a zdravíme vás za oslávnostné otvorenie toho dnešného výnimočného programu nielen pre Košice, ale aj pre celé Slovensko. V tomto okamihu mi dovolte, dámy a páni, aby som poprosil námestičku primátora Mesta Košice, dámy a páni, Lucia Gurbáva. This is one of the first festival I've ever experienced since traveling around the world. So much people. I have never seen a lot of people in this city until today. So people from the nearby cities and uh, villages, everybody is here. It's nice. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.